Wow. Without the ambient colors. And this is how the interior looks with the ambient colors. The co-driver can enjoy watching a movie while the drive stick this true. But on the other side, you have the charger. I am in love. Hello guys, I am back. Today welcoming you all with this. Right in front of us we have the latest 2024 model Mercedes-Benz E-Class. This being the W214 E-Class. And today I will be mainly focusing on the inside. I've already done an exterior walk around. You can check the video in the info box above. Today I want to mainly focus on the interior and show you the latest Mercedes-Benz interior display unit. So we will be jumping right inside of this Nautic Blue Progressive Line E-Class as we have the AMG line standing right over here. This one still with the standing star, I really love that. It's one of the most iconic things and keeping the traditions here at Mercedes-Benz. Let me just jump inside and let's start with the inside. So we are now right inside the latest Mercedes-Benz Model E-Class. This is the 2024 Model E-Class and we will be talking about the interior mainly. This one being the non-AMG line progressive line steering wheel finished with the nice macchiato beige interior and we have the super screen. Let me just start up. If you were wondering where the start stop button is, it's actually right behind the steering wheel, which I don't really like because it's kind of hidden. Wow, what do you think of this? Let me just push it again. There we go. I'm not Gottlieb Daimler, but anyways, wow. So as we have music playing right now in the background, as you can see, that's how the active ambient colors are moving around. As soon as I turn the music off, you see, it's just normal. This is very cool. It gives you a nice interactive interior. Wow, just look at this. The main difference between the hyper screen interior and the super screen interior is that these two displays are connected, but this one is still a separate one. The front driver's display is the exact same one as we know from the S-Class, for example. You can also turn the 3D on and then you have a 3D display in front of you, but I really don't use that. I also really don't like it because I get dizzy very fast. And the inside over here, we have the latest Mercedes-Benz operating system, the MBOS, being even better than the MBUX, in my opinion. They have teamed up with Google and have put a computer in the inside of this car to give you the best performance and speed for your display unit. It's just the best. Also, for example, if I reach out over here, it turns on the light for me because we have sensors right over here. Let's just talk about the super screen in total and let me just give you a quick tour of this. For example, you have the main display here, zero layer as we already know from the MBUX. Here with the navigation, let me just go to home. And then right over here you have the apps which we usually know, okay? With the weather, Mercedes Me and these boring games like Sudoku and Shufflepuff. I really don't like them. Here's where you have uh, Spotify, Amazon Music, Apple Music, whatever and also your gallery, you can take pictures with this camera. Yes, there's actually a camera inside the new E-Class, which is so cool. You can now have Zoom calls inside your new E-Class. Imagine having a Zoom call inside this. And also, I think while driving, maybe autonomous, you can drive and have Zoom calls. This is so cool. And the home display here again, you have the Mercedes Me Android store, something like this. They have a lot of applications which you can download down onto your driver's unit here, which is so practical and really cool. You have the comfort menu right over here, which you already know from massage, from the seat settings, ambient lighting and the energizing comfort. Ambient lighting, my favorite color is this one, number one, the blue. This is so fancy. I really like this. Imagine having a night drive in this. You can also go with the multicolors. You see that? I really like it. But I would definitely stick to a monochrome and put the brightness also of the light strip on top to the max. You can also link all the zones together. And this is how the interior looks without the ambient colors. And this is how the interior looks with the ambient colors. 
Wow, it's a huge difference. You can also turn on all the effects you need for the operating feedback, warning assistance, whatever. Then you can have your phone right over here when you can just connect it. It's so easy to use the radio media when you connect your phone throughout USB or Bluetooth. Then we also have the routines here. This is something also completely new coming with the E-Class. This here you can create routines. We have an example routine over here, I think. There we go. And then you can see the details. For example, the condition is that the exterior temperature has to be below 15 Celsius. And if that happens, you put the seat heating on automatically. You can also add the action to that. For example, also add in massage. It's so easy, wave massage and you add that. And now every time you are below 15 degrees Celsius, when you jump inside your car, you will have the seat heating and wave massage already on because it's template you can set in the routines. You have the normal car settings and everything over here. And then as soon as you swipe over here, you have the hybrid menu, uh, which we have with all the Mercedes-Benz plug-in hybrid vehicles. And with the E-Class, I think half of the cars being offered are already plug-in hybrids, E300, E, E300 diesel hybrid and E400E. All in all, I have to say one thing, while using this system overall, I have to say using it is so easy. It's so much better than, than the already existing hyperscreen. In addition to that, for the co-driver now, you can turn your display on. The co-driver can enjoy watching a movie while the drive and for the driver it will be not visible it will be completely blacked out so the co-driver can just watch his movie and also when driving autonomous i think you can just watch the movie in general in the main display here also right over here you have all the options yeah comfort radio media whatever all in all with this e-class in specific we have the non-amg line steering wheel finished in macchiato beige round shape i really like it a lot in front of us we have the center display you can also change it to sport there we go or just stick with the classic we don't have the underrated anymore unfortunately the seats are exactly the same as we have inside the new c-class and s-class eqs i think as the exact same one just from the design it's super comfortable i actually do like it what i don't like about the seat is that it looks super thin and also the back of it is finished in plastic. I'm not a big fan of that. We have a lot of light coming in the inside. I just covered up the entire car, if you were wondering, just to have a lot of light in the inside to demonstrate you the interior lightning. In the rear, the rear passengers got a lot of light also with the ambient color surrounding, panoramic roof giving us a lot of light and all in all guys, how do you like the all new interior of the latest model Mercedes-Benz E-Class? I have to say it's a revolution and I can't wait to finally drive the new E-Class and experience all of this on the road, especially the routines or when driving just using the Bormesser speakers, the 4D system and communicating throughout Mercedes voice assistant is now way easier. When you are alone inside your car, talking and interacting with the voice assistant is now way easier. You don't have to say, hey Mercedes all the time. It will already take all your commands by one. You can also request multiple commands at once saying, uh, turn the ambient colors off and turn my massage on at once. And he will do that all step by step. It's really, really cool and I love that. How do you guys like it? It's a complete a revolutionary interior made by Mercedes-Benz here. They've teamed up with Google at this point and it's just so cool. Let me also just focus on the center compartment before I finish it off. Here this one you just slide that open. There we go. And this here being the factory wooden trim. Finally they have watched my videos Back in the days, all the base E-classes, they used to come with the black gloss finish here. But I told them, guys, black gloss finish makes the interior look too much glossy because the displays in front of us is already black gloss as soon as you turn them off. So why not put something like wooden trim in here? And they did it. It's like really cool. You have the wooden trim coming from factory, but you can also go with a piano if you want. Inside here, you have two cup holders. You have two USB-C charger ports and a wireless charging port. And there's also a tunnel right over there. Just watch this now. As soon as I open this up, I have this USB-C charger, let's say. Then you have the tunnel down here and I stick this true and then watch it on the other side you have the charger 
so you can put all your cables in from this side and you can use it from the other side it's so much better to have a more clean space inside here it's really really cool to have that all in all guys how do you like the inside of the new mercedes-benz e-class i am in love i have to say and i can't wait to finally drive it and to show you more of this please share your comments in the comment section below is it too much or not i can't wait to read all your comments and also something that i have to mention before i finish it off we have no more reflections of the ambient colors because these being covered by the dash for example here and we have a double dash in front of us so we have no more reflections on the windshield for example especially in the night it was super super awful to have all these reflections you couldn't really concentrate also here on the side being like covered around the driver it's really cool so you don't have a reflection on the windows anymore all in all how do you guys like it i'm in love with the new interior already looking forward to see you all again and wish you an amazing day i will be back